Hello, my darlings. It's ALB in Whisperland here. How's it going? I want to go shopping for some back to school type supplies today, so that's what we're gonna do. This is my friend Laura. She's gonna go shopping with us as well. And today we are going to be shopping at a store I really like to go check out. It's called Umamo. So I'm looking for like back to school supplies today. I have some mm, ambitions for this upcoming year of things I'd like to study and this is the most fun time of year to shop for back to school supplies. If you've been doing the same thing, you probably know there is a lot of cute stuff. Look at this. This is like a little clippy with a heart. I love it. Okay, that's going in the cart for sure. Umomo is a really cool place. It's all Japanese import items. If you live in the States, you might be more familiar with a store called Daiso. They're really similar to Daiso. They have all kinds of interesting housewares, um, crafts, kitchen, um, beauty stuff, like anything you could think of. Let's start right here. We've got a whole section with calligraphy brushes. So these are all $2.75. The prices at Umamo, for the most part, they're really good. Most things are anywhere between two to four dollars, so you know, it's there's a lot of really affordable stuff. These are all very tempting pens. I recently went to um, a one day long calligraphy class, just like an afternoon, but we didn't use these types of pens. We use like metal tips. There is so much to look at here. This store can be kind of overwhelming. I'm trying to find this... Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at this little cat. It's a pig. That's cute. We're gonna go look for the stationery section. Now, they do seem to have it kind of spread out all over the store today since we are in back to school season. There's a bunch of good ribbon here too. We've got some satin ribbon, some gross grain ribbon, glitter ribbon. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm seeing clocks. Okay, stickers. Hey, Laura. What have you Oh boy, these are unicorn stickers. That's so cute. I should probably not get stickers today because I have so, so, so many stickers that I have not used. Uh, but they're tempting. Look at these little cute beetles and... Wait a second. Are those... Are those Shiba Inu stickers? Yes, they are. They're all different. That's so cute. We've got some hearts over here, like drinks. Oh, these ones are like princess theme. There's castles and swans and a little glass slipper. That's cute. Well, a lot of certain parts are kind of picked over right now. Look at these cats in the bathing suits. That's so cute. They're like puffy stickers. I think I must just be here at uh, that time of year where everybody else wants stationery too. Okay, now I like these a lot. Ooh, these are tempting. I kind of want these. I like that sort of vintage animal illustration style. Oh, and these are great too. These are like 70s kind Hmm, very tempting. These 
sheets are 275. All the sticker sheets are 275. We've got some pastel monsters. Those are cute. Oh, and these ones are like fairy tale. Oh, I guess like Rapunzel specifically, but uh, not the Disney one. Just regular Rapunzel. Hearts, paws, all kinds of stars and stuff too. Hmm. Alright, over here we've got a lot of washi tape. Hmm, I think I could buy some washi tape today if I find a good one. These are like little cats, but they kind of are like stamps. And they're crowns. We've got some like girly ones. That's cute. I like that. Oh my gosh. I think I have this little guy at home. Think it's in my pencil case. I'm gonna have to investigate. Oh, these are cute too. I think they must have more washi tapes than this though. So I'm gonna keep looking. None of them are catching my eye just yet. Over here in this section, it's like um letter sets. So you've got like your paper and matching envelopes, as well as like mini cards and envelopes. Like, you know, sometimes you have a little gift and you just want to write a small little note. These are so perfect for that. I like these ones. Okay, 275 as well. Hmm, I'm gonna think about those. We've got some fish, some cute little flowers here. Oh, these are kind of cool. This is like a photo frame card. So you can mail somebody a nice photo you took together, maybe. That's nice. We've got little memo pads. I have no idea what characters these are, but they're pretty cute. I like them. Sometimes in the stuff here at Umamo, they'll have like, I guess, quote-unquote name brand. These are like in the wrong section for sure because these are onigiri wrappers, but they're cute. Um, sometimes there'll be like this Sanrio name brand character, but sometimes there's just like random little guys that are just, you know, part of the illustration. I love it. These notepads, I just have to show you these. They're all food themed. So we've got like a ketchup memo pad. We have a QB Mayo memo pad. These are so great, especially because the packaging as well makes it look like so such a food item, you know? This beef stew on a beer, cream stew. Oh, I love it. So good. And then we've got more crafting stuff. This is like these little cutting boards, they are, like, you need them so much. I have two or three at home, so I need to not buy one, but they're so good to have, you know? The store can be, like, pen heaven. There are several aisles just full of pens, so if you're like me and you love pens, like, Oh, just set me loose in here to play with all the pens. So we've got some gel pens here. They have cute packaging, these ones. And we've got some neon gel pens as well. Those are really cute. Oh, and they have like a white gel pen. That can be good for like paintings when you just need to do a little sparkle on top got like white out corrective fluid corrective tape. Hmm. Okay. Now we're looking at the notebooks. You can see there are some spots where our notebooks have sold out. So I think, you know, we're in September. It's time. Pikachu. Oh my gosh. They have little Pikachu notebooks and they're all with like 
spread too, that's so nice. Hmm, that's really, oh, they have stickers in the front. Very cool, okay, I need to think about those. Hmm, they have other notebooks too, though. I mean, probably the last thing I need is a notebook, but I really like them. There's cute ones here as well as simple ones. We've got, let's see here, there's this one. This is like a smaller notebook. I like that illustrative style on the outside. And then we've got, these are like super, super cute fluffy rabbit. These are $2.75 and $2.50. Oh, this little, this bear, this kind of creepy bear. Oh, we should show that to Laura when we see her. Um, what else do we have? We've got this cute little unicorn one. Oh, and the, one of the lines are pink inside. And, like, some little memo pads here. I like when the insides are, like, printed in a cute way and it's not just cute on the outside. That's the most fun. Oh, wait, we saw that one. Um, is there a different one under here? And we've got this pink one here. This is two fifty as well. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, this gray one is cute. I like the simple ones. I feel like I may want to get one like that. This section is all little clippies. We've got some bulldog clips. Oh, these are polka dots. That's nice. You can never find cute ones like this when you actually need them, you know? Like these um, paper clips. You can never find cute gold ones like this in this like triangle style when you need them. So you end up just using like boring ones, you know? So why not pick up some, oh, look at these, some cute ones when you find them. Now we've got glue sticks. I don't really need any glue, but I like looking at the packaging. It's fun. Um, we've got more glue here. Let's see. You know what? I think I want to get this notebook and we'll bring it to her. Yeah, let's there's only one left anyway. If she wants it, I don't want her to miss out. Okay, hey Laura, look at this. This little bear. Laura loves bears, so... Isn't that cute? Look at the little guy. So cute, right? Okay, I think I do want to get a clear file today. But his section has been so picked over. This must have been like all Xanax characters because these are all Xanax and the Rilakkuma. Oh, this one's cute. It's like lemon loaf themed. This one is, oh, it's like a party. Oh, it's like a house party. That's cute. They have so many themes. That one's macarons. We've got Okay, this one looks like it's actually spring or Easter themed. These are like woodsy ones. And, oh, I like this one. It's like a little strawberry cake themed one. Okay, that, that I like very much. What else do we have? Oh, this one, this is like France. That's pretty cute too. Hmm, this will be. Decision. We'll see. Oh, and they have a couple other things left. Kudotama pencil case and oh, this pen. This is pretty cute. It's got like Korolakuma, Rilakuma on it. Hmm, I do like that. Okay, they have this other stationary back to school section right near the front that I guess I must have walked past, but 
so much washi. Oh, this looks like maybe, doesn't it? Oh, so cute. So much washi tape to choose from. I haven't grabbed one yet, so I could technically still pick one out. There's a lot of cute ones in here. Some food themed ones. I usually like that more than anything. And we also have these cute little boxes. Look at this. Is that not so cute? They're little note papers or memo papers, I think. That's... I really like that. Well, I think we're all set shopping here and finding very good stuff today. Now, I would love to show you all of the things that I picked out today and do a little stationery haul for you. I ended up getting uh, quite a few more things than I had originally anticipated. I probably should have given myself like a budget of some kind or even a plan would have been great so much cute stuff. I grabbed, obviously, quite a few things. I'm gonna go through everything and just kind of show you what I got. This one thing, though, I wanted to mention. I did not buy this today. Like I mentioned, when I was in the store, I was like, I bought this before. Like, this is something that I have at home, but where is it? In fact, I think I've even featured it in an ASMR video before, but let me look at it. It's back in the packaging. Clearly, a part of me was like, this is just so cute. I must save it for a special occasion. It is too precious. And then that special occasion never came, I guess. So... I'm excited now to, like, get this little guy out and put tape inside and actually use it, you know? Like, come on. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm super obsessed with this. And it comes with tape inside of it, actually seems like it's pretty easy to use. I'm going to open it up and I don't know if this will work, but I bought a washi tape today that I want to try and put inside because I think that would just be like so, so, so cute. It's probably really obvious to you watching this that I really like things that are themed with like cakes and pastries, and I guess almost like a French patisserie theme, but when I was shopping, that was not that obvious to me at all. I was literally just picking things and being like, oh, this is cute, I'll get this, and then I get here home now, and like, I see it all laid out, and I'm just like, oh, okay, I see. washi tape. It says patisserie rose on it. And it has like a little cheesecake, a little like strawberry, uh, looks like angel food cake or something like that. And there's like these stripes. I just thought it was so cute. So I think that this can just go like that. And then There we go. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? With the little cakes tape. And that is, that is so precious. And what I like about it is when you're not using it, you can just kind of um, tuck the little, like, tail. I mean, ideally I wouldn't have a little piece like this, right? But in your bag or whatever, you can just tuck the little tail in. And it's so perfect. I'll show you what that tape looks like when I get to the notebook. Um, 
I'll show it to you. I'm just gonna put our cat friend up there. So this is a little, like, just a simple clip I got. I probably paid too much for this because I think this was like a dollar or two dollars for just one. And yeah, I did not need this, but like, I don't know, it's got like a little sparkly heart. You know what? Also, the packaging had like little French bulldogs all over it. I'm, I'm such a sucker, honestly. But you never know when you're gonna need a little clippy like this. I find myself in need of them all the time. And it's like actually a cute one. You can never find cute ones, so... I don't know, it's probably a little bit of a waste of money, but what are you gonna do? Then I got this, and this seems like a little box with, um, note cards in it, I think. But this was another thing where I was like, oh, it's cute, I'll just get it. So we'll open it up and see. So it's like this cardboard. It's a pretty sturdy little box. But the main part of the design is just like, um, pasted on the box. It's not like the box itself is actually that cute. Okay, these are pretty cute. Oh, you know what? I was wrong. This is totally worth the money. This paper feels so nice. I'm actually kind of shocked. I'm not sure how well you can tell just from looking at it, but this paper is like kind of a linen-y quality. This feels like really nice, almost like onion skin paper when you can get that from like a craft store. It has like a grit to it. It's not like you know, sometimes you get cute memo pad paper and it's kind of cheap. This feels really nice, actually. I can, like, put my hand under the paper and see the texture in the paper where it was pressed. Ooh. Okay, and there's, like, a lot of these, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad I got these. These feel incredibly fancy like, way fancier than I thought they were gonna be. Wow. I'm happy about that. When you get stuff and you can't open it up, you really are just kind of like, well, roll the dice, you know? We'll see if it's actually any good. This one was a major win for me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you this tape as well, because this is, like, a really, really simple item, I guess, but... I'm actually excited about this one. This is just plain tape. It's just plain pink tape, but I love how simple and cute the design is. Plus, it's like a really good pink. I'm kind of picky about my pinks these days. And why shouldn't I be, I ask you? Oh, this is even cooler than I thought it would be. This has like a little clip on the back, so you can attach it to something if you need to. But otherwise, it's just plain old nice pink, like masking tape, basically. I kind of want to see. Oh, the quality is nice. This has like um, a sort of paper feel, like it's quite thick. Wow, it's much, much thicker than I thought it was going to be. Wow, that's really nice. This would be so cute for, um, like, if you had a parcel you were sending out to put this on it. This is, this is cute. This was worth the money to me. I'm going to move this stuff over because I want to look at the notebooks that I got now. Pens we're going to look at last because I want to try them in the notebook for right now. All right, so I grabbed three notebooks. I was really kind of hemming and hawing on the notebooks today. Uh, I will admit to you, I have a lot of notebooks. I probably didn't need more notebooks, but I don't really have any that are grid notebooks. 
and I mean, like, come on. Okay, so this one is five millimeter um, squares. So this is, they all are like grid notebooks. This one is the smallest grid. It's really cute. It's nice quality paper. You know, it feels like it would be really nice to write in. There are some stickers over here, but I probably won't use them, to be honest. Like, I'm probably just going to use it to write in. Okay, so this one's like a nice leaf green color. Then we have this one. This is the 8mm grid notebook. And they all do say on them with the sizing. I kind of wish these were like pinks and purples, um, just because that would kind of match more with my stuff, but the little designs on the front and back were so cute, right? Like, not only are they Pikachu, like, they're really cute illustrations, so I went for them. These squares are a little bit bigger than the last one. And then this one... This is the biggest size squares. So, oh look, so cute, the little Pikachus, oh my gosh. Oh, and here's the back. They have different designs on the front and back. The squares are really big in this one. Check that out. Like, they're huge. I could basically do little drawings in all the squares. In this. So, I am really excited to use these notebooks as I study. Um, I really want to do a couple of different things with my studies. Um, and I have some goals for the upcoming year. We'll see how that actually goes, you know. Um, I think that I want to use this middle one to try out some of our pens today. So I'll just put these two over here and let's try out this 8 millimeter one. See there's like room for you to put your name and stuff on it if you want to. I don't really need to because I'm not in a classroom setting. I don't know about you guys but like I love pens so I'm really itching to try all of these. In the store, there was like a little bit of room to try the pens, mostly just on like card parts in the signage or other people had tried them. So I got a couple different things today. The first is um, this Uniball pen. Um, this is the Uniball 1 0.38 millimeter pen. So this is quite a thin tip on this pen. I thought it had a really nice design because the pens were all white, but then it just has this little bit of color. It's got a little holder there. It's got a, it's a pretty nice clip. And also this part of the pen right here is like a soft grippy part. So it feels pretty nice to hold in the hand. I will go ahead and try this out. By the way, this is not the way I normally hold my pen, but when you have long nails, you hold them a little bit differently. Hey, I'll be in Whisperland. So you can see this is like a very thin sort of point. I'm actually not used to a pen this thin. I kind of have to change how I write with a pen like this. But it's pink, it's cute, so I'm excited to use that one more. I feel like that pen would be better to use in the notebook with the really, really tiny squares. Okay, this one. I am not too proud or too cool to admit to you that 
I just got this because I think it's cute. I loved the little rainbow lettering of the Rilakkuma. You know, I like, I really quite like Rilakkuma, but they're not necessarily like my favorite character ever. I have some friends who like love, love, love Rilakkuma. Um, but I think they're cute. Like, I have a couple of them. I like them. And I'm, I think I'm more of like a Jinbei-san uh, or my melody person, but I like Rilakkuma. Mostly I like Korilakkuma, but yeah. So one side is thick. It's like this like marker texture. It's like really quite thick, right? Like And the other side is a thinner, but they're both felt tip. So I'm gonna do a heart right next to it so you can see. Uh, I quite like the texture of that more. Where's my name? So you can see the difference. Um. And these are two different pinks, but very similar in terms of width. That's a pretty fine point. Okay, now I am really excited to show you these. And you'll have to forgive me if you've seen these before and this is like old news to you, okay? Just like if that's how you feel, ignore me for the next couple of minutes. I geek out over these. I have never seen one of these before. This is a built-in pen and marker. So basically, the marker is at an angle as such that you can write and then immediately highlight what you've written. This blew my mind. I've never seen this before. So this is by Ninny P Pen and Marker. I'm really looking forward to trying this, and you'll notice that I did not get pink for this. Decided to do something a little bit different. I was thinking, you know, because they're highlighters, it'd be nice to get a color that is not pink, so that it's sort of like a different look. So I'll go ahead and try this out. First of all, I've got to show you this close-up so you can see. Can you see, like, the angle of the pen and the marker? Isn't that so cool? To many of you, perhaps this will be old news, but I was really taken by it. I thought it was neat. Look at this. The ink is, like, orange in this one. Oh my gosh, I spelled my own username wrong because I was talking and I got so distracted. Just ignore that. That's fine. It can be difficult to talk while you're writing. I think maybe it uses up a different part of my brain or something. Okay, so I'm going to try to highlight just the ALB part. That looks so cool. I love it. It's nice that they're like alternating colors because it makes that stand out so much. Like if I wanted to, I could highlight my mistake. But we're just going to forget that even happened. And just... Oh, I can't write... I was going to use the tip of the eyeliner to draw a heart, but I can't because it's at an angle. That's awesome. It's probably even better when you can just highlight in one streak and you don't have to worry about, um, like, marker streaks, you know. I'll try to write it smaller this time with the yellow. Write it a little bit smaller. Oh, that's nice. It's like a really bright orange, eh? Yeah. 
be in this Berlin. I'm not writing it really much smaller at all. Okay, so you're supposed to be able to highlight this right after. It totally works. That looks so cool. Oh yeah, I would totally buy more of these pens. These are awesome. 10 out of 10. I love these. Okay, lastly, I do have this other box of pens that I got. So these are the Uni... Emmet line fine 0.4 millimeter pens. They had these in all the different color sets, but I loved these ones. The like sort of indigo and like dove grayish lavender colors. Yeah, it's a bonus that there's pinks, but you know, there are different pinks than what we already have, so I figured why not, you know? This was the other big thing for me. It's a water-based ink. It's water-resistant. No bleed, no smearing. Absolutely perfect for writing on paper like this. So you know I've got to dry these out. Okay, this is really slick looking. It comes with this little stand, which I guess you could put on your desk or something. Like, it is a pretty cute design, actually. It says Emmett right there, and they all sort of, like, fit right like that. This is actually pretty slick looking. I did not know that that was, like, a little stand that came with it. Okay, I will do, like, a little swatch of all of the color. Wow, this is hard to get out. I was, like, doing it at a weird angle. Let's... So this is pretty nice. It feels really, really light in my hand, though, which I don't really love. Like, there isn't very much weight to it. Oh, the tip is different than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah, it's really small. This is going to be good for studying, in my opinion. You can write really beautifully, very tiny. Oh yeah, you can write really little notes with that. I don't love the dots. Do you see that? But like there's little dots where the ink, like when you lift up, that it was just resting there a little bit more. I don't know that I love that. We'll try another one. This one. The colors actually were on the box. Well, they're just numbers, I thought maybe. Oh well. I'm going to write so very small. ELB. Yeah, this one does it too. Can you guys see? There's like just little dots on the lift up points. Uh, personally, I don't love that effect. I mean, some people might like it, but I don't really like that so much. It seems like it's doing it with all of them. I was sort of hoping that maybe it would dry differently, but it's really not. feel nice to actually write with. Um, like, not bad hand feel, but I don't know. This color is my favorite. This sort of gray, purple, lavender. Well, that one's my favorite. But I don't know if I would recommend these ones. And these were not cheap pens, okay? These were definitely more on the uh, higher-end pens that they had. Mm. I don't know. I'm not loving them. Oh, this one 
It's more pastel. That's fun. Well, I have these now, so like I'm obviously gonna use them. But these ones, the Emmet, these are kind of more style than substance. I was not particularly impressed with these ones. I know that some of you are like really into pens and you know more than me, so perhaps there's a particular writing style that is more suited to this style of pen, but I didn't like the steep drop off in the ink that it left that little dot at the uh, lift off spot. Some of the other pens seem much nicer and much smoother actually, so that was kind of unexpected. Oh well, it's always kind of a gamble. Um, even if you are able to try stuff out in the store, you may not be able to see what it would look like in your own notebook at home, you know. So it is kind of always a gamble. Of all the pens that I bought, I think the one that was the most pleasant to write with, mm, and this one has the best like feeling in your hand, but I was the most impressed with these pen and marker combinations. That would be like a really cool thing to give to someone if you know that they write a lot. I wanted to show you that tape as well. So that you can see the overall design of the tape. Let me just line that up there. Oh, I love it. That is so cute. The little stripey with the cakes. Oh, that's one of my favorite purchases. So, so cute. One last thing I want to show you before I let you go is this right here. This is just the clear file I decided to get. Umamo always has like tons of clear files and normally I'm always like, yeah, I don't need that, I don't need that. But recently I actually did find that I needed a clear file and I didn't have one. So definitely had to pick one up today. This has like a really cute design. It's a strawberry cake design. They're baking together. It's almost like little instructions, you know. So cute. And then I loved this on the back. This design. Strawberry party. They have like a little parfait with custard cream. It says tree stump cake. Isn't that so cute? I have these like little um, sort of strawberry bush, blueberry bush that's on the top. It's like so charming. And this is not very expensive, so I'm glad I grabbed it. You never know when you're going to need a clear file to store important documents or just anything. It's good to have one, and recently I was looking for one. Good really glad I grabbed that. Okay, favorite things that I grabbed today, definitely 100%. These little notepads. I thought I was going for style over substance, but they actually ended up being really, really cute. Uh, these pens with the highlighters were really great too. And I like the Pikachu notebooks as well. Um, kind of disappointed in those uh, pens, but that's okay. I'm trying them out so that you don't have to. <laughs> well, my darlings, thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon.